Y'all know over the summer I've been working at a dry cleaners. It's a fine job. The pay is bad, but half the time I'm sitting on my ass anyway, so I ain't got a problem with it. The only problem I have working at this place is when these clueless, don't all hit brain motherfuckers come in and act like I'm supposed to know their entire fucking life. I am your cashier. Not your motherfucking mind reader. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Two days ago, this motherfucker walks in. I have to show you an outline of my dry cleaners. So my dry cleaners looks like this. The entrance, my station, and nobody else is in the fucking dry cleaners. I basically run the dry cleaners by myself. There is a manager's office right here, but the customer should not know that. So this motherfucking customer comes in. He's right here. He walk in. He walk in. The minute he walks into the door, I say, hi, sir. How are you doing? He ain't had no clothes in his hand, so I go, pick it up. And he goes, you can give me this. What the fuck is this? Motherfucker, I said, hey to you, you can speak up and say hi to me back, motherfucker. Give me, give me this. So, he walk in, he walk in, and he stops right the fuck here at this damn counter when I'm standing over the fuck over here. I'm like, motherfucker, do you see anybody fucking here? Why the hell are you standing right there? So, it's not my job to use these other stations. It's like, my boss tells me, stay on my station. I'm standing over here, I say hi to you to greet you, to get you in my direction. Why the fuck are you standing over there? So, I stay at my station and I go, um, can I get your last name to search up your clothes? He goes, Mr. Mercer, sir. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm like, I'm sorry, what did you say? He goes, Mr. Mercer. So, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? So, I searched up what I could hear from him. He said some Mercer, sir, but I heard Mar, so I searched up MAR, and the database pulls up every MAR that we have in our system, like Martinez, Marshall, Marshall, whatever. So, I'm looking through that, and I asked him for his first name. He goes, he said some shit, because I'm like, since I can't find you with your last name, let me try to find you with your first name. So I'm looking through the first names of the M-A-R's, and I don't see his name, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, you said Mr. Marshall, right? He goes, yeah. He getting pissed at this point, and I'm like, I'm sorry, Mr. Marshall, but I can't seem to find you in the system. Give me your phone number, we can look you up through that. And he goes, Mr. Morrison, M-O-R, I meant a oh. The minute he started spelling out his motherfucking name, I said, ah! I said, that's enough. All of that you're doing is just unnecessary right now because, motherfucker, you was mumbling to me. You need to open your goddamn mouth when I ask you. I'm trying to fucking help you out. If I can't find you with your last name, I can't find you with your first name, I'm trying to find you with your motherfucking phone number. It's easier like that. But for him to just get like an attitude and just be like, Mr. Morrison, motherfucker, why the fuck when I asked you if your name was Mr. Marshall, why the fuck did you nod your head yes? I don't understand, is your fucking name Mr. Marshall? If it's not, motherfucker, shut up! Motherfucker, you strutting in here walking slow as motherfucking hell like I'm supposed to know your name. Bitch, please! Puta por favor! It's just idiocy. You walking slow, you not at my counter, you mumbling. It's just like dumbass, bald-headed ass, stupid ass, clueless motherfuckers. Two weeks ago, this woman comes in to pick up her clothes. I find her clothes easy. She tells me her name and everything. I hang it up for her, and she's like inspecting her clothes, which is fine. You know, sometimes you want to inspect your clothes before you take it home. And she gets this puzzled ass look in her when she's looking at the pants and she says to me, she goes, why is there no crease in the pants? And I go, mm-hmm, that's weird. So I look at the ticket. The ticket ain't say to crease the pants. So I go, well, um, you had these pants dry cleaned and when we dry clean pants, it's automatic no crease unless you tell us to crease it. And she goes, well, what if I didn't tell you guys to crease it? And I go... Well, then we don't crease it? That should have been the end of the fucking conversation right there. If you didn't tell me to fucking crease your pants, why the fuck would you expect a crease to be in your goddamn pants? But this lady is just ignorant. She's just fucking stupid. And she go, well, if I don't tell you what to do with my clothes, you just gonna do whatever the fuck you want? Hold on, bitch. Let me take a second. You getting loud. You getting angry. I'm about to get loud and motherfucking angry with you back. I say, yeah. If you don't tell me what to do with your clothes, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do with it. I'm going to do what I feel is best for your clothes. Okay, motherfucker? Then she looks at me and she's like, you see the pants that I'm wearing right now? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, it got a crease in it. And I go, yeah, motherfucker, I don't care. Motherfucker, pay attention to your goddamn pants. Bitch, you act like you somebody. I'm looking at her and I'm like, man, when you come in here, I don't pay attention to your pants. Next time, if you want a crease in your pants, just tell me you want a crease in your pants. She go, no, you supposed to ask the customer. I said, hold up, motherfucker. Hold up, bitch. I am your cashier, not your motherfucking mind reader. And I sure as hell ain't your goddamn slave to be asking you what the fuck you want. You tell me what you want, you get what you want. If you don't tell me what you want, I'm doing whatever the fuck I want, motherfucker.
She pissed, she got an attitude, she grabbed her clothes, she goes, y'all have bad service, I don't know if I'm gonna come here no more. I go, ma'am, we have a thousand other customers, you only dropped off two pants, I have customers who drop off 80 pieces at a time, it's not a thing for us, it is not a thing. And she was just like storming out, I'm like, bitch, you ain't dramatic, you stupid. And whenever the customer leaves, my boss always comes to me, he's like, Luan, you ain't supposed to be yelling at the customers like that, I'm like, baby, you see this motherfuckers? Oh, getting me all worked up, making my hair fall down and shit, y'all like it? Don't forget I have the Luan Legacy Quote Twitter account, you know, where you at reply Luan Legacy Quote with your favorite Luan Legacy lines. And yeah, I guess I love you guys. Bye. Oh, I have 9,000 subscribers. Y'all fucking rock!